I'm Laura Starling. And I'm Naomi Charnell. And this is Queen City Fame, where we put the Q in Queen. And the F in Fame. They say diamonds are girls' best friend. But for these ladies, it's the bikes with their hair in the wind. The speed takes them higher. No one can deny their fire. Let's meet the ladies of beauties and bikers. Hi, ladies. Hi. <laughs> so you all look so beautiful today. Thank you. Thank you all for taking time out of your schedule. Please introduce yourself. I am Lisa Harris, aka Genesis. I'm Mika Davis, aka Baby Mama. I am the real Charlotte Monroe, aka the real Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rita Marcia. I'm Doc Honeycutt. I'm Tashaka Tate. I'm Berlina Nesbitt, AKA Split. And Keisha Nicole. So we're gonna get to how did you ladies meet? Me personally, I'm Doc Sneeze, and I'm also her co-host on one of her shows. So that's how I know Doc. I've known her my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. But yeah. I met Doc at a basketball game, the Hornets basketball game with my son. And uh, actually it was her and Cheryl. I knew Cheryl before I met her, and I met Doc through Cheryl, so seeing them together. Cheryl was like, you're still my friend, my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> right here, she's glamorous, she can do her hair and all that stuff, so. And when we linked up there, we just been here <laughs> since then, so. That's how I met her, and it's, it's great. I'm glad to be on her team and under her wing. <laughs> I met um, Doc at um, Mooney's Lounge. That's where I work at. I've done a, per a lot of her events there. She has a lot of um, community events. And I met Dr. Honeycutt through my cousin Keisha. And <laughs> since then, she I told her she reminded me of one of my favorite aunts. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a line. Um, that I work in with Matt Doc and everything is, like she said, a whole lifestyle change. And I think that is tremendous when somebody can, you know, put their mind to something and it can actually get done. <laughs> I already knew Genesis and Baby Mama already through the bike world. Um, and Doc was in the bike world, but I never actually knew who she was until we all came together and stuff in this. I dragged her, I told her. She <laughs> <laughs> I said, what we need more fighters. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that I have yeah. and everything mm -hmm. and to be part of Doc's dream. I met Doc. Um, actually, I was, we were at a bike party and they had a motorcycle club called Sisters Keepers. And Doc was the president and, She's oh, I'm sorry, the VP. I thought she was president. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and her mom was in it and, and it was like a whole family. And then you couldn't help but to stop what you was doing when they walk in the room because <laughs> it was all you saw was thigh high boots and booty shorts. <laughs> and and, and booty. to see her, you know, see them walk in and they, they just came in with such confidence. And then she saved one of my club members' lives wow. that night uh, wow. when I actually physically met her. I taught you to ride. Well, my mom is a biker babe. Like, she was the first root gear rider. She was the first beauties and biker. And then me and my sister came behind. You know, she would take us to bike week. And, you know, we were just always around the bikes. And so, you know, we knew how to, since we was with the older guys, you know, they, they got us into the riding part of it. But um, we went to go buy bikes when we came back from one bike rally because um, the guys down there were driving like crazy. You know, they mm. were just popping wheelies with women on the back of the bikes. And me and my yeah. sister, we were riding and we was like, you know, we're going to get us some bikes Monday, you know, because we came back on Sunday. So we went to one of the dealerships and the guy was like, well, let me see your endorsements. And we was like, well, we don't have no endorsements. We just want to buy some bikes. <laughs> so, I mean, we was prepared to buy bikes and take them out of that shop right then. And he was like, well, I'll tell you what, go take the safety class and bring your paper back and I'll sell you some bikes. So we did go take the class and glad we did, but we didn't go buy the bikes from him. Because <laughs> we wanted to buy them right then that right. day and he didn't sell them to us. So who's been riding the longest? I've been riding since 98. I don't know how long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how long? Long time, uh, since I was 17. Oh, wow. So yeah. who taught you? Uh, nobody. <laughs> okay. I took my uncle's motorcycle. He had a Harley Davis. Um, oh, wow. They used to sit real pretty in the driveway. And mm -hmm. he was drunk one day and said, you know, hey, 
you always popping on my bike. You can't ride it. I'm like, yes, I can. Give me the keys. And, and you just rode it. Yeah, you know, a few incidents. Got to figure out how to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got my life threatened. If you drop my bike, I'm gonna. You know, I didn't drop it. Um, but to learn to shift gears with one leg was was pretty different. Yes, yeah. I'm an amputee. So to learn to do that without, um, you know, no assistance, nobody helping you, and you ain't right. never been on one. Right. I did pretty good. So who's the daredevil? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously her. <laughs> oh my God. Top speed ever on a motorcycle. I did 100 because of my husband. You know, I have to keep up with him. <laughs> I used to race motorcycles before I got married because somebody made me stop. Um, wow. 210. My top was like 190. My top was 90. I'm not speeding. What happens when you have a flat on a bike? You better hold, somebody you better hold on. If, yes. it's, if it's happening, if it happens when you're on and riding, you better hold on and, 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 and get it and, and break, it, break your speed down as quick as possible without hitting the brakes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So then you have to call Triple A. Yes. I would call Triple A or everybody <laughs> probably call Black Mamba. Yeah. Uh, we'll call Mambo. Uh, okay. You know, he works on our bikes and stuff like that. Her husband. Oh, okay. My best friend. All right. So, yeah. Um, She's going to pick them up if she needs But yeah, if, they you, get a flat, yeah. if you get a flat while riding, mm -hmm. very dangerous. It is. If you don't have any skills, um, I've seen a lot of people get killed. Yeah. Wow. From just a flat tire, right, right, right. Um, or chains locking, or the wow. motor season. Um, see, that's we, we've what, seen a lot. That's so scary because I see bikes on the side of the road, and I'm like, okay, now who's gonna come get them? The trailers. <laughs> yeah. you know, people, they call on a lifeline. Yeah. Yeah. You call one of your lifelines up, and yeah. you know, hey. And if you put it out on Facebook, man, everybody hits you back. <laughs> really? you, where, where you at? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you ladies are currently filming a reality show. Yes. Now, whose idea was that? Doc. <laughs> so, Doc, what, like, how did you come up with a reality show? Because I can tell you it's brilliant. Well, so I'm, I'm a local doctor, um, and I've been on TV with the health, health and wellness show for um, about three to four years now. And um, I just, you know, Destiny just kind of, is taking me to a different place. So I started off doing a doc documentary film called Root Gear Riders. And it's about female motorcycle riders as well. And you know, some of the ladies, well, most of them that ride has been a part of it. But then nobody <laughs> wants education. Like they want, you know, they want action. <laughs> so I was like, well, I do the reality show. So, you know, nobody was doing anything with bikes and women. So I was like, that's it. That was brilliant because I said the same thing when I saw the trailer. I was like, somebody's really smart because there's never been a reality show with women on bikes ever. So that's fantastic. So do you find because you're a doctor that everybody's calling you for advice? You know, yeah, if you got my number, they do use my, they use the resource. They do. Right. <laughs> exactly. My nieces and nephews, buddy, they, every time they see me, they be like, my arm hurt. You know, even if it don't hurt. <laughs> right. Do you charge anybody? <laughs> my, my relatives? Yeah. No. <laughs> the Good Samaritan you also have, um, you have, you also have a book out. Yes. So how did that come about? And tell us about the book. So I'm an author of seven books. Um, my number one seller is uh, My Weight Loss Journey. And if anybody knows me, like way back when, as a young adult, I was overweight and my family had a history of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, you know, just everything. And I didn't want to get it. So I did what it took, you know, I took control of my life and, you know, changed my lifestyle and lost the weight and then I wrote about it, you know, after I became a doctor because I was like, nobody's gonna listen to me if I'm not a product of my environment. How is the chemistry on the set? Because I can tell right here, but when you're on set, how's that chemistry? Because you gotta get that footage. At the, absolutely, they got, you have to crank it up. You know, we have, like I said, you know, my thing was I didn't, when I wanted to do the reality show, I didn't want to degrade women. That was my biggest thing. Because we can still have good TV and not, you know, say to be this and to be that, right. you know, but we can still have cat fights. 
Right. Like we do for real. Yeah. We have cat fights, Those but. Two of them on there. <laughs> I might say B. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying it. I might say B. That, something. B. Something. Not, I didn't say. I didn't say that. No, when I said, I mean, like it's just like you know, every word, word is you know. Yeah. 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 But no, you, yeah, we know you use it. It's gonna be signified on it. Good no. If I have a call out. I'm Laura Starling, and this is Queen City Fame, where we put the Q in Queen and the F in Fame. And we have India's number one Bollywood DJ, DJ Lemon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Absolutely. Welcome to the Queen City. Thank you so much. So who is DJ Lemon? DJ Lemon was born in 1998 uh, with a small party uh, back, in, back in my hometown, Kolhapur. And I think since then it, it has been passion and I'm just following music. So where did the name DJ Lemon come from? So it has a little emotional story behind it. My father used to call me Lima in Sindhi, and which in English means lemon. And I've just renamed myself after he passed away as DJ Lemon. And it has been working like a blessing. <laughs> that sounds great. I mean, what did your parents say when you told them that you want to DJ? Because <laughs> usually it's a doctor, engineer. Right, right. <laughs> so, uh, of course, my parents were not uh, like, they are still old fashioned. But my, when my dad saw me DJing for the first time, he actually surprised me in a party. And since then, he was really proud of how I handle the crowd and how I control the crowd with music. And since then, uh, he was really proud of me. So that was the cool. moment, yeah. That is pretty cool though, because normally you don't see that. Normally they have that talk with you and they're like, uh, yeah, Initially DJ. even he had a problem, <laughs> but then when he came to one of my parties, then I don't think, uh, I, I think he never had a problem with it. That is really cool. So what DJs would you say influenced your career? Uh, DJ Akhil Ali from India, I, I really follow him all the time. Whether it be music or fashion, I still follow him. He is like my inspiration. Now do you mix all types of music with the Bollywood sound? That's a very genres? interesting question yeah. because uh, <clears throat> I perform in various countries in a month as in even if it's one month I go to Nairobi, Hong Kong so every city country has their own essence of music right so if I'm going like for example if I'm going to Nairobi I go through their local music what's top 10 going on and I try to blend in that music in Bollywood music. That is pretty cool. So you're doing your research for the areas that oh, you're going into. Each time, each time. So if on your actual, say your playlist, what genre of music do you normally listen to? So is when, it a mixture? It's a mixture of all. <laughs> I love music. So I listen to uh, any music according to my mood. According to your mood? Yeah. Have you heard, say R&B or hip hop? Do yeah. you listen to any hip hop? Of course. <laughs> Tupac has always been my favorite. <laughs> right. So what DJs would you like to go on tour with if you had one? That you had to choose one person? One person? One. I would love to go with Martin Garrix. Okay, tell him in the camera. Martin Garrix. <laughs> Please take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So is this this is not your first time in the Queen City. How many times no, no, have you been is, here? This is my third time in a row and all the events have been spectacular and this event is also sold out. So I'm super excited to uh, perform in underground. So what are you gonna give them tonight? Tonight is a mix of Bollywood, English, and uh, a bit of surprise mixes. A bit of surprise. Any other events happening this year that you're gonna be a part of? Oh, are uh, you events are, it, it's all lined up. Every, every <laughs> week is an event. Oh, every wow. Friday is an event. So you tour often, you tour all the time. Yeah, I think uh, most of the weekends I'm pretty much booked. Oh wow! So you do you go back and forth to India, or do you come here and you stay? No, it's to the it's States? yearly. I, I come here yearly, so I because it's a long flight, and uh, I have events lined up back in India. So in a year, I plan these months that I come here for a month or two, and I go to all the states. That's amazing. Have you been to Las Vegas? I have to ask you that. Yes, I've You've performed been... there once. Yes. <laughs> yes, Las that, Vegas. That was my dream. And... It is the pinnacle. Well, can you tell fans how they can follow you? So follow me on Instagram. My ID is DJ Lemon, D-E-E-J-A-Y underscore L-E-M-O-N. 
You guys, y'all heard it right here. This is DJ Lemon, the number one Bollywood DJ. He's right here in the Queen City. Let's do this tonight. <laughs> Let's do it tonight. I'm Laura Starling, and this is Queen City Fame, where we put the Q in Queen and the F in Fame. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
Uh, you can call 844 for all music and, and speak to someone. But the, the way that most people are getting in touch with us or engaging with us is, you know, you can find me on Instagram, you can find Sound Royalties on Instagram and the various social media, whether it's Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And, and we're engaging with people there. And Thank you for stopping by and sharing what you do with us and to our special guests of Queen City Fame. Thank you for having me. It's, it's really been a pleasure. Yes, absolutely. Hey everybody, it's your boy JT. Ooh, and I'm your boy Jimmy John, and this is Let's Find Out on Queen City Fame. What's up, what's up guys? Um, I'm not feeling much Queen City Fame no. because I'm fat. No. Well, first off, where is the treadmill? And secondly, you're in luck. He is in luck. We just so happen to be standing right at my body spot. Really? Yes. Follow us. I have to get rid of this, bro. I have to get rid of it. Uh. Oh no, okay. Oh bro, come on, silence everything. 2.30 my body spot, I don't care about you guys, but I'm gone. J I know, I gotta get rid of JT. I need to get my summer JT. body ready. Listen, listen, my I guy. summer ready. So there's an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I guess we're just gonna catch up to JT. So my body spot, would you look at that? Maybe if he was patient. I wonder if they have other services too. Whenever I think of a spa, I think of my body spa. I hope he's here. I hope he found it. I wonder what he's good. Oh, yes. You found me. Yeah. I'm in the detox. Oh no. <laughs> no, you're in the burrito, my guy. So how does this work exactly? Uh, this detoxing procedure. <laughs> So right now he's getting a full body detox. He's wrapped in all the slimming cream. So what it is, he sweats out all his toxins and oh, all I'm his sweating. waste. Yeah, I'm sure he is. But yeah. Let's get on those. Like we're gonna leave back here. We're gonna leave you over here. Let me tell you something. It was hot, but boy do I feel amazing. Body contouring room. Yeah. Maybe Lily should show us this. Mm. I'm actually gonna go in. I know what I'm doing. You Let's know what find you're out. Doing. Oh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna find out. I don't know what this fancy machine is. Whoa, whoa, Gigi, what are you doing? Bro, we, this we is can't. a gas mask. No, no. Bro. Wait, it's wait, wait. Mask. It's not a gas mask. It's an ass mask. What are you doing? A what? Uh, yeah, an yeah, ass yeah. mask? You're telling me this thing is for people's butts? Cross yes. Fingers. This is what we use to do the buttless. Put it down, 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 put it down. How? Oh, no. How? How sway? Yeah, it's like a, it's a butt lift where we put the machines on your booty, like this, and it just blow it up, big, and it just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Do I have a Kim Kardashian butt now? You will not, but <laughs> you will have a nice one. Okay. Butts are in right now. Butts are definitely in People right like now. the butts. They love you. If you ask me, they've always been in, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> now, I bet you get a lot of people asking for butts. Is this one more popular? Absolutely. It's definitely one of the most um, asked for procedures that we have. Absolutely. Yeah. Asked yeah. for. Uh, asked for. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Follow me. So oh. lust. Someone needs to really put that back. Holy moly, there's a teeth whitening machine. Oh, Bro, what are you doing? What do you mean? I, I'm just happy. Okay, so Stop you Stop touching stuff. We need a professional. So you can touch things and I can't? We need a professional like Lily, man. She knows what she's doing. Wait, what are you guys doing? He's touching stuff again. First off, I'm sitting in a chair. And secondly, I'm just trying to get my teeth done. I have a hot date. You're trying to have those Gucci man teeth. Burr? <laughs> yeah. uh, no Burr? copyright. No copyright. <laughs> Anyways, how does it how does this work? Put these cool bamboo jammers on. Ooh. I feel like Cyclops. Yes. <laughs> Everything's red, right? Yes. The way it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is great, guys. It's like a whole new world. Wow. Y'all should see the world through red. Now, why does he need these funny looking shades? Yeah, for the light that we'll be using for his teeth. I apply your gel okay. or your teeth. I apply the light, so put these on. Oh, we're gonna do this right now. Oh, oh shit. why not, right? Wow. Why not? 
and for the this record, this is why you need a professional. You could have blinded yes, yourself. Yes, could have definitely blinded yourself. Exactly what I was gonna say. And yeah. everyone should see the world through red as well. Yes. Let's get this started. Yes. Let me see that smile. There you go. Well, while Jalen's handling that, I'm going to find out what else this place has to offer. Hey, 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 no, no, no. I don't know what this treadmill thing is, but I'm going to test this bad boy out. Hey, uh, it's definitely not a treadmill. It's not a treadmill. It looks no, like one. not at all. It looks like a treadmill, but it's not. It's not. This is a vibration plate where I'm going to rock your world. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you ready? Are there seat belts for this? Yes, it is. So hold on tight. Tighten up all your muscles from your back, your arms, your buttocks, your legs. You will feel vibration throughout your whole body. Oh, I feel vibration. Yes. I feel it. When you're done, you're gonna feel so great. I feel it. In my butt. <laughs> In my much for showing us around my body spa. I can say you helped me tremendously. Oh boy. I actually feel a six pack. You do. I do. What, what's the ins ins installment? Uh, what, what should it be done in solo? Let's talk about my back. We don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we really do appreciate the hospitality. Hey, everybody. It's JT. And I'm your boy, Jay the Guy. And let me tell you, we just had a super time at the My Body Spa. Amazing time. It was great. It was it was very hospitable, homey, intimate. Oh, purple. Purple's for royalty. And listen, I feel pounds lighter. Signing out. I'm your boy Jay the God. Signing out. Off to our next adventure. <laughs>